I will do a quick uh, just demo of how to use the harmonium, how to care for it. So it's a beautiful finish, beautiful sound. First thing we're going to do is a full key walkthrough to show you all the keys are functional. <laughs> Such a sweet sound. Start from the very basics. Um, this cover can be closed, right, to let less air out and make a softer sound. Great for quiet playing and quiet practice. Usually, people keep them open to let it breathe. You can also take it off entirely, and then it becomes like a much uh, louder, raw sound. position it's good to close it when not, you're not using it just to avoid any dust falling in that can complicate things next thing to know when you're closing the harmonium like I did there you always want to let the air out so you can just hold any keys I'm holding a chord but you can hold one two three four five keys it doesn't matter and close it in allow all the air to escape you never want to close the harmonium with air trapped inside um, that can also lead to complications the next thing now um, there's a lever here, this is called a coppler. What this does, when it's activated, it allows two octaves to play simultaneously, two different keys in the same note, in the same pitch. So if you turn it, if you pull the lever down, then it's deactivated. So you just want to make sure at all times to get the same sound that I produced just now, you want the coppler activated. And up means activated. Um, now, before we close the harmonium, you got to know, for, um, most importantly actually, these stoppers control the sound. So if all the stoppers are pushed in like this, then there is no sound that can come from the harmonium, even if you pump. Right, so the big stoppers have to be engaged, meaning activated, pulled out. Once they are, that's how you get it. Um, the sound from the harmonium. Now an important thing to note, these small drones, these small stoppers, if they're pulled out, you're going to create a sound. That's what they do. They're called drone notes. So in case they're out by accident, you might hear this and think something's wrong with the harmonium. All it means is that the drone is out. Alright, so you have to make sure the small ones are always pushed in, close the bellows, pull it out as we say, and then push in all of the big stoppers. Once those are in, then we can now collapse the harmonium into its traveling position, which is the final demo that I'm going to do. So in order to collapse it, we find this and we clip, click it up like this. And once that's up, you're able to collapse it very gently. It's very fragile with these harmoniums. Now, um, the stoppers have to be pushed in or else you can't do that. You, you won't be able to, okay? So now, in this position, when you pull it up, you don't need to click it, right? You can just pull it up primarily from this part of it. So you just pull up, that is it, right? So when we pull down, though, we have to click it. And that's pretty much the basics of what you need to know. Um, the top cover looks like this, and it's a pretty simple system, but I'll just show it to you. You just make sure these hold under here. And once you do, you'll hear, you'll hear it pass through like that. And you just gently bring it down. I keep saying gently because you really have to be gentle with harmoniums in general, but especially travelers. You know, they're delicate instruments. And then the lock comes down. It's a very clean finished harmonium. Very beautiful. And that is everything I think you need to know for a first time harmonium um, buyer. If you have any questions, feel free to let me know. We probably will ship it out by Tuesday. 
Um, we'll package them Monday, ship out by Tuesday. So we have another date in case you have more questions. Um, but yeah, I'm very excited for you. I do think it's a very nice um, sound in harmonium. It's very sweet. And as a harmonium player, I know it's very easy to play. It's very easy to breathe the pump in. So these are things that make it a very good long-term harmonium because um, I can't see any issues for the foreseeable future as long as you maintain it and take care of it. Another, another point to, main, to note, you have to keep it in room temperature when not being used or slightly cooler. Heat and wood do not go well together, right? You don't want it to be exposed to prolonged heat or humidity unnecessarily. And um, yeah, it does come with a bag as well, so you can obviously make sure this is protected. But that's all I think you need to know for now. Thanks for sitting through this video and congrats.